Welcome to this class. In this session, we are going to solve some problems using chain rule. So evaluate the derivatives of uh, these functions, a up to f. So let's solve them. Solution. A, we have y equals to cos of t squared plus one. That's what we have as a first function. Now, we we'll start by fixing So let u to be t squared plus one. So which implies that we'll have y will be cosine of u. So that's what you have. Now, the u dt will be 2t by power rule and dy du will be when you differentiate cos function you get sine function but we know that dy dt is the same as dy du times du dt which will be minus sine of u times 2t, which is the same thing as writing minus 2t sine u. And you don't stop there. You replace what u is in terms of t. So therefore, dy dt is negative 2t <coughs> sine of t squared plus 1. <coughs> Part B, y is equals to sine of x squared plus e raised power x. <laughs> so to evaluate this, we start by fixing u to be this bracket, x squared plus e raised power x. So this implies that we'll have y equals to sine of u. Now, the u dx will be 2x. Differentiating an exponential function, you get exponential function. And dy du, differentiate a sine function, you get a cos function. So dy dx is dy du times du dx, which is cosine of u times 2x plus e raised power x, which would be the same as 2x plus e raised power x, cos of u. <coughs> So two, and so dy dx will be two x plus e raised to our x cosine of u is x squared plus e raised to our x. And then C, y is equal to e raised power cosine of x. Now you start by fixing the power. So let u to be cosine of x. So by that fixing, y will be e raised power u. So whether it's cosine, we put u. 
Now, du dx, differentiate a cost function, you get a negative sine function. And dy du, differentiate exponential, you get exponential. So this implies dy dx, which is the same as dy du times du dx will be e raised power u times negative sine x, which is the same thing as negative e raised power u, which is cos x, and then sine of x. So this is the dy dx. And then d, y is given by tan of five minus sine of two t. <coughs> this point you are going to apply chain rule twice. So this is how we'll do the fixing. So say solution, let small u be sine, uh, the 2t, I'm fixing this part, and capital U be 5 minus sine 2t, so which implies that y will be tan of capital U because this part is same capital U, and then this capital U is the same as 5 minus sine. 2t are fixed to be small u. Just like I have equation one, I have equation two, and I have equation three. So from one, du dt will be two. From two, d capital U the small u will be minus cos of small u. And from three, dy, the capital U is, if you differentiate a tan function, you get a sec squared function. Now, remember the objective is to find dy dt. Now, dy dt will be given by dy d capital U times d capital U d small u times d small u dt. You see it's like this and this crossing, this and this crossing, so remain with dy over dt. <coughs> so this will be sec squared capital U multiplied by minus cos small u times two. So dy dt equals to negative two cos of small u sec squared of capital U, i.e. dy dt is negative two small u is 2t and then sec squared capital u is 5 minus sine of 2t so this will be the answer to that given problem And then second last problem E, Y is given by five X power three minus X power four raised power seven. So solution, you let U to be five X cubed minus X power four 
So this means uh, y will be u power seven. Now, if you call this one one and you call this one two, from one du dx equals to 15 x squared minus four x power three. And from two dy du is seven u power six. So dy dx is dy du times du dx. So seven u power six multiplied by 15 x squared minus four x power three. So we'll have seven, 15 x squared minus four x power three, u power six. But you don't leave your answer in terms of u because u was not in the equation. So we replace back by its expression in terms of x. So therefore, dy dx equals to seven into 15 x squared minus four x power three. And then u is five x power three minus x power four raised power six. So that's what we get. Lastly, f y is one over three x minus two. Now we write this one as three x minus two raised to negative one, loss of indices. And let u to be three x minus two, so which implies y will be u raised to negative one. So call this one equation one, call this one equation two. <coughs> From one, du dx is three, and from two, dy du is negative u raised to negative two. So dy dx would bring these two together, dy dx dy du times du dx, which would be minus u raised power minus two, you multiply by three. So the same as negative three u raised power minus two, or you can write it as minus three over u squared. But u is our own fashion. So then dy dx, is minus three over u, which is three x minus two squared. So that is what we get. So thank you. And the next session will give more examples on changing.